Hello YouTube. So my buddy and fellow YouTuber Pete from HP Powerwall was asking me some questions about the uh, antimatter last night and giving me a pretty good video idea. So we'll go down that track now. This is my 30 amp, 1000 watt antimatter um, synchronous lipo discharger. And Pete's question was about re regenerative discharge. So with the regenerative discharge, if I want to test this pack on the output for its capacity, I can take power out of this and feed it into another battery pack. Pete's question was, can I put it into a small battery pack? Let's find out. It's a really good start. That's a 4.2 volt battery pack. That is all uh, it's 60 18650s in um, parallel. So we'll now connect that way. Wrong side of the Anderson connector. Them to the Anderson connector on this uh, 12 volt pack. So what we want to test is if we can pull power out of that and charge that first. So we'll leave it in LiPo fast charge. It's a 3S LiPo. Okay, so it doesn't like the input voltage to try and charge this battery over here. We'll go into settings. Not special mode settings. Regenerative discharge is at the back of the menu. So that's on. Up to 30 amps. Still at the minimum. Okay, 4.5 is the minimum. Regenerative discharge voltage. Here we go back to lithium battery. Fast charge storage discharge. So we'll go a bit gentle on the amps. Get back down to 10. I didn't mention it before, but I really like the um, way you hold the button down and it gets faster and faster. It's saying confirm regenerative discharge. No, input voltage is too low. So there's your answer. A 1S pack, it cannot do. So, uh, Pete, yours are 80 cells. What I'd probably be doing is buying those cheap little BMSs, putting two or three of them together. Even just two of them you'd get away with. And uh, you'd be right, but no, low voltage. So it will fire the unit up but it won't do anything with it. It does say on the side 5 volts to 36 volts for feed in voltage. There we go, we didn't know until we tried. So you can make the machine light up off the battery that small. Let's just see if we can charge at like a stupidly low current, like 1 amp. Half an amp. Point three, there you go, that's where it landed. No, so it just automatically reads the uh, input voltage and says it's too low. So there you go. Um, six volt battery you can get away with, eight volt battery, but. Um, not a 4.2 volt battery. Thanks guys. Hope this helps someone who's looking at buying one. 
be really handy if it had been able to push it into there, but that being said as well, um, if someone was to discharge something that was 36 volts over this side and down to 4.2 over there, the, the power multiplication is crazy. But anyway, thanks for watching. Catch us in the next video.